Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Measuring Channel Power with the Rodian Schwartz FPC. In this short presentation, we'll guide you through how to make channel power measurements using a Rodian Schwartz FPC series spectrum analyzer. This presentation assumes a basic familiarity with spectrum analyzer operation and channel power measurements. If you're not already familiar with these topics, or if you'd like a brief refresher, you may want to watch the presentations Understanding Basic Spectrum Analyzer Operation and or Understanding Channel Power before beginning this presentation. As you should already know, there are two methods for measuring channel power with a spectrum analyzer. The first is using zero span mode. The second is the channel power measurement mode, which is based on the so-called integrated bandwidth method. Let's start with zero span mode. Remember that in most cases, a spectrum analyzer measures spectrum by effectively sweeping a resolution bandwidth filter across the span, measuring the power along the way. We can, however, also set the span to zero, in which case the resolution bandwidth filter stays parked on a single frequency. This causes the analyzer to display power versus time at that frequency. Although zero span is most often used to measure time varying or pulse signals, we can also use zero span to measure channel power. To measure channel power on the FPC using zero span mode, we simply set the center frequency, set span equal to zero, and then choose our resolution bandwidth. Recall that resolution bandwidth needs to be wider than the signal whose power we're measuring. And because we're measuring power, we also need to set our detector type to RMS. Assuming that the power of the channel is relatively constant, channel power should appear as a more or less horizontal line on the power versus time display and we can either read the value from the vertical axis or use a marker to obtain a more precise value. One important parameter when measuring channel power using zero span is sweep time. Generally speaking, increasing the sweep time will improve the stability and repeatability of our measurement results, although obviously this will also increase measurement time. The more common method of measuring channel power using a spectrum analyzer is the integrated bandwidth method. Here, we first need to set the lower and upper channel limits. The analyzer then sweeps across this channel bandwidth and obtains a channel power result by means of integration. To access channel power measurements on the FPC, first press the measure hard key, then press measurement mode and select channel power. In order to measure channel power, we need to specify the width of the channel. This can be done in two ways. The first is by manually entering the channel bandwidth. Another way to specify channel width is using a standard. Recall that channel power is frequently used for measuring wireless communication signals, and the standards for these technologies define nominal channel widths. After clicking on Standard, we can choose from a wide variety of predefined channels. Just select the technology type and channel width, if applicable, and then click Load. The analyzer will then automatically configure the proper channel bandwidth. Here we've selected the standard LTE 20 MHz, which automatically sets the appropriate channel bandwidth. Note that for wireless communication standards, channel bandwidth is always smaller than the nominal channel width. A 20 MHz LTE channel has a channel bandwidth of only 18.015 MHz. Channel limits are shown by the vertical blue bars, and our channel power result is automatically calculated and displayed on the screen. Although we can manually set the span, resolution bandwidth, reference level, etc., the Level Adjust button will automatically optimize settings for the chosen channel bandwidth. Power Unit and Power Display can be used to change how we view the measured channel power results. Use Power Unit to choose the units of displayed power, dBm, dB microvolts, watts, etc. Power display controls how the measurement results are presented. Clear right is a default mode and updates the channel power measurement continuously. Max hold shows only the maximum measured values, and this can be useful if the signal levels fluctuate. And channel power per hertz displays the channel power normalized to 1 hertz. For some applications, channel power is more commonly expressed in terms of power per hertz instead of as total channel power. Let's summarize what we've covered. There are two ways of measuring channel power with a spectrum analyzer. 
The first is using zero span mode, and the second is a channel power measurement function. If measuring in zero span mode, it's important to use a resolution bandwidth that's wider than the channel we're measuring. Also, increasing sweep time will help increase measurement accuracy and stability. In channel power measurement mode, we need to configure the width of the channel, either manually or using a predefined standard. Using the FPC's level adjust function optimizes parameters like reference level, resolution bandwidth, etc. This concludes our presentation, Measuring Channel Power with the Rodian Schwartz FPC. If you'd like to learn more about channel power or other spectrum analyzer measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.